Greetings fellow apothecaries and distillers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story, episode 113, Healing and Wine. Uh, silver needs to be a little hotter. Uh. Oh, right. The, literally the only thing it could be is a plate, so I wasn't even given the option to do anything but a plate. I was so freaked out that I, like, made another, like, wrong thing. But now it's just because it's the only recipe that's valid. Okay, heart, you can slow down. We didn't make a mistake like I've done before. I've made, like, when I was trying to make, like, tin bronze plates or whatever... I've made, like, shears or something wrong. I forget what it was. Something stupid. Oh, we're gonna need more char or coal. Chief Dog, thanks for the gifted subs. Drink to that. Cheers. Pro pick, that's what it was. Yeah, I made a pro pick head in, instead of what I meant to do, and then I had to use a, a chisel to, like, return it. Yeah, it was just, it was dumb all around. All right, so we have our molly plate. And uh, we have to wait for the silver plate to put it all together. Because you can't, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you cannot line a lantern after the fact. It's lined upon creation, not lined uh, afterwards. Oh, you can line it after the fact? Okay, cool. Wait, why do I have drifters so close to the base? I thought I didn't have dead space. Oh, hello. Did I leave the door open? No. Oh, what a gift! You're welcome anytime, dude. Just go resurrect and come on back. And uh, I'll take a temporal gear off of level zero. I think he spawned down here, which is weird because... Oh, you know what? It's dark in there. Yeah, that explains it. It's dark uh, right above my charcoal pit. Because I lined... I. I measured the light level of everywhere else. That is really low odds. It's like one in a thousand, or maybe not a thousand, but it's it's very low. Because I measured the light level everywhere else in the base, except for right under the charcoal pit. Because the charcoal pit didn't exist when I built, when I uh, lantern lined down here. So we're good. Silva, hi ho, Silva. Here we go. Contains molten silver. Sweet. All right, I'm going to put it all together anyway, even though you can line after the fact. But while I wait on that, I might want to I might want to start hunting for meat. I know I have some things I can slaughter. I feel bad about slaughtering a pregnant you though. Um, now the other question I had was, and I haven't made too many of of these, so do I have to have the right amount of honey? Or can I just have honey? Okay, I just have honey. It just uses up the honey. Fantastic. So those are the big heavy hitting poultices that I wanted. And I have tons of honey left for the linen ones. The, um... Actually, I'm just gonna eat this honey. 
get a, a 30 80 of my fruit. 1500. It's not a big waste of honey. So it was a quarter of a liter. Uh, so I'll put these away so I, I don't use them. So that's the big healers uh, when I desperately need healing. And then the other ones I'm going to be making are the sulfur uh, reed poultices. Uh, and I am surely going to run out of sulfur before I run out of honey or reeds. Because I can just get reeds. But... So that's... Um, I'm going to need to seek out sulfur next once I get the lead-lined lantern. This is 68% complete. And uh, I don't know if the wind is going to be with me tomorrow, so I'm going to stay up a little later, make sure to hammer that out into a plate, and get it done. Also, I'm going to rely on you guys to... So when I leave home um, to go... Well, okay, it's kind of like next stream. When I go to the Residence Archive, I really, 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 really ought to take a temporal gear so that if I die, I respawn down there and not up here because if I respawn up here at base, I don't get retries. Whereas if I, I respawn down there, I, you know, I could hypothetically get my gear back and I can have some spare gear. It makes sense for me to, if I, there's space in my bag, for me to bring what the dummies has on him to throw that into a trunk um, at the entrance of the archive so that I can throw that stuff on um, and maybe even make sense to make some extra lamellae just to repair it up a little bit more because I have plenty uh, I have some considerate I have some copper so I could make some tin bronze lamellae just to have this in like better working order but the shield is probably going to endure a decent amount of fighting and um and the Falx is fine. Come on. Harden. I wonder what temperature they harden at. Too bad they don't tell you here. Bring all the temp, temp gears that I have. What? I probably will have a pretty full inventory. That and each temporal gear is 20 retries. So the advantage of having, if I can't do it in 20 retries, I'm not, I don't have the healing to do it at all, uh, in my opinion. I think that's pretty safe to say. You know what is interesting? Is the nitrate in the soil for this rye the growing speed here is 97%, and the growing speed here is 58%, and they're the same stage. Oh, he thinks uh, recover sanity? Oh, okay, I got you. Uh, we'll see. It, the, the issue is they don't stack, and I'm going to have an inventory full of stuff. Food, and healing, and spare gear, and possibly spears, and, you know, so it's, um, I have to be very cognizant of just the stuff I'm holding. Because I don't have space for everything. Luckily, I'm doing it in the spring. One of the advantages of doing it in the spring is that... Um... Oh, yeah. They're... Okay. I see drifters out there. So I think what ended up happening was one, like, wandered in from an open door more than spawned. Or somehow got in. I know there used to be a bug where they could, like, glitch through leaded panes. I don't know if that bug has been fixed. Because there's no dark spots of this base. Like, they didn't... They didn't spawn in here. Um, and all the doors are closed. So, yeah, I don't really know where he came. Not sleeping this night? Uh, I'm just getting this done. And then I'll sleep. I mean, it's, it's not even 10 p.m. yet. 70% complete. I got some nice views, though. I really like what I did with the, the greenhouses here. I feel like 
I mean, as much of a flex as it is to have like a full glass greenhouse, I feel like having it the way I built it here, like, I don't know. There's something about it where it feels more realistic in medieval times than just like all glass everywhere, which is like futuristic. Because there wouldn't be supporting materials. I know I don't need to technically quench it, but I want to. Yeah, it's a de I mean, it could have been sexier, but it's good enough. The greenhouse. Okay. So here we go. The lantern time. So there it is. Lining silver. And, um... I will try to show you the light level difference. It uh, won't be noticeable unless I'm, like, in the dark. So I'm holding the brass. Well, it's not that dark. This is brass lined. No. Here we go. And you can see a pretty sizable difference. It's also a really attractive looking lantern, I think. Turned out well. Okay. Enough playing with my lanterns. That's not a euphemism. Yeah, it looks it looks steampunky. It also looks like gothic. Like something you'd find in a gothic church or something. How I'm going to go to sleep in this bright light, I have no idea. I'm like holding a lantern under a lantern with another lantern next to me. And yes, I did have one in each hand. I was I was uh, literally dual wielding lanterns. Oh. Well then game deciding what a rude awakening I got the approaching and imminent warnings as I woke up it's only a medium medium storm and I'm pretty decked in armor uh, nine left 77 done sounds pretty metal I did mention wanting some lamellae, so I have um, 300 units worth of lamellae molds. So I'm gonna make some extra lamellae to make sure that my armor is um, is in decently good working order. The, the backup armor. You know, in, the in-case armor. So, current priority is repair backup armor and then make healing items and food. I think uh, I would like to make meat pies. Question for you guys. Should I slaughter all the Gen Zero animals? Of which I think there is only one that remains. But whatever. Technically I could slaughter all the sheep. I would not really be worse for wear. As I've demonstrated the game mechanics and there's not much more for me to do there. And, uh, Chief Duck, thank you for the bits for the effort. Look at them all spawning. 
spawn in the wrong area. Oh, not you. Ooh, that was a a passive block. Poor little bugger. He was like, oh, I'm gonna let it hit. And then I like just happened to block it anyway. 50% of the time it works every time. Murdered. Now here's a tainted. Which would have dinged up my bronze armor a little bit, but murdered. And here's a corrupted that would have shredded me in my bronze armor. And it tickles. But it only really tickles. Especially if it hits my steel. You know, if it if it's my meteoric iron, they're equal. But if it hits my steel, uh, not so much. The other thing I could do here is um, kill them for... Oh, no, get back here, monkey. Um, kill them for their linen so that I can maybe make another really good bandage. This is a medium storm. So it's it's not it's not hellish. There you are. How about I just shove you into the forge? No, I won't do that. Um Okay, uh one, two, three. And it's, uh, it's the giraffe's out. Oh man, he is looking high detail. Often the giraffe is not so clearly detailed. Especially when you get storms at night. So now I'm just like actively hunting the drifters so that I can get as much linen as I can. Seems like a reasonable thing to do, given the quality of my armor. This one almost died. Or, uh, took a lot of fall damage. And, uh, you say don't slaughter the pregnant you. Okay. You will survive. I don't think if you're wondering about my cuttings... Oh, here's a tainted... I don't believe the has changed at all. Oh, another temple gear. No, I don't believe they've fertilized. So you know when I hear the uh, the noises when I'm in my downstairs storage area. Uh, it's because drifters spawn in there and, and make noise. I must say, there is a sizable amount of security that I feel just like I don't have to think twice. Granted, a, a nightmare drifter 40% of the time will be hitting me in my iron pants and that would hurt, but not having to overthink it too much being able to roll up on any of the drifters and be like, yep, they can't really hurt me. I'm good is a great feeling. So now I can run around and purge them all. I was really not expecting to just be jumped by a storm, though. Nothing in here? And that should be able to be poured without any more coal. Oh, here we go. I'm coming to kill you, Taint. Sorry, dirty. Mr. Level 3. Yeah, my gear hurt, done it. He hurt me a little bit more than the others. He got more licks in than even the other level three that I killed. And the world is back to normal.
I don't see any other fleeing drifters anywhere. Oh, I think they killed my fish. Let's see if they ran this way. No, they're not down there. Okay. Drifters defeated. Almost no wear and tear on the armor. Like 8 durability of 2,000. Uh, 29 durability of 2,000. And 13 durability of 900. Ain't no big deal. Doesn't get me any closer to having another linen, though. Steel does have a lot of durability, yes. It's one of the reasons to make stuff out of steel. Okay, here we go. This is ready to pour. So this is the tin bronze lamellae to repair my old armor in case I die and need backup armor. Because my old armor was very dinged up and won't survive too many hits from tier 3 plus stuff. So it's to repair that. The blade and the shield have enough hit points. I'm fine with it. So let's top up our, our uh, charcoal. And then um, probably go hunting. Because I am going to need um, food for the trip. So I'm planning on bringing the wheels of cheese. And then if, if they've aged. I hope they've aged. I bring the wheels of cheese and then also as much healing as I can fit in my inventory. But um, maybe meat pies. Man, these are not white ripening that fast. Uh, well, I could bring the fruit preserves. And bread, stacks of bread. I'll figure it out. So the landline molds are solidifying. The steel is at what, 80? Yeah, exactly 80%. All right, let's, uh, let's hunt for some meat. So, uh, one thing I could do with the flour that I have is make meat pies. Which is a good way to compress food. I wonder why it's not coming up. really not coming up. So, according to my old mapping data, we got some sheep to the north and northeast. There's also, of course... Oh, I don't need the tongs. Oh, well. There's also, of course, the um, the wolves that were north of us, but that is bush meat, so that's not going to be super helpful. I need non-bush meat. Even poultry would be okay. I'm at 80% and I just topped up the um, the steel furnace, meaning that I should probably not need to top it up again. I think it's for 16 charcoal per section, it's 20% uh, of processing. So if I'm correct about that, my remaining charcoal will burn down. I might need to put like one more charcoal in. Um, but yeah, my remaining charcoal will burn down and the steel will be done. Bonnies. I mean, you know, I'm hungry, so.
what is this, the forever skin? Is it just a bunny, man? I'm not even taking the hides. I don't need more parchment. So I have a teeny bit of red meat in my cellar, but I'm going to want more of it. Also, I glad I made a new knife. Shear should be able to double your amount of horsetail yield. Or there should be some way to double your horsetail yield. Given how reliant you can be on horsetail. So this is where I marked down and, and this is an old um, waypoint. What well, really old? Because I this is a ruin that is new style. So yeah, the, the sheep that used to be here might not be here any longer because I refactored the world. I pruned it. No, that's I, that's a baby. There's no point. So I'll go to the other sheep area. There's a, also a peninsula um, to the northeast that I had previously marked down. Again, pre-pruning. That it was very, very high yield for um, for animals. But I don't know if that's true anymore. You have bush meat, so you get to live. I'm not seeing sheep. Alright, I'll track the place east of me that are marked. Ooh. I did hear the chicken. You are good at climbing. I keep thinking the cranberry bushes that I'm spotting are like fruiting. I'm getting excited, but they're not fruiting. You know, one thing I never managed to find was pumpkin seeds. Uh, of all the plants that you can plant... Oh, here we go. Here's some sheep. Of all the plants that you can plant, pumpkins are like significantly different in the way they grow than all the other plants. Which is why it would have been cool to have one. Alright, Ram, where's your use? Having the foggiest. This is where I marked down that there were sheep. So at least this marker was, like, true-ish. Um, and I might need you guys to actually walk me through making meat pies. It's not something I've done much of. Oh, yeah, there's one. There's a sheep. There's a ram. But I don't know where the ewes are. Unless they've been falling in holes. It's always sad when there's, like, a decayed bones of what was clearly like a meat yielding animal that just fell into a cave and Darwin themselves I don't love the idea of uh, relying on fat, but it doesn't spoil and it is a protein source. So if like the last thing I'm doing is going to the res archive, it's like not a ridiculous idea to bring it, provided there's space. I am not spotting any other animals around here. A lot of rams. Yeah, the, the birth rate this time around was uh, very male. Oh, this is a new peat yard. I 
Make four dough, shift click the dough into the table. Click four times on the pie crust with meat. Bake, carve with a knife. Cool. I'll probably not carve it with a knife. Well, they, so do meat pies stack uncut up better than the individual slices? I guess that's my next question. Because if I'm trying to min-max the amount that I can take in space, uh, I would want to have it be as resource or space efficient as possible. Is this like a cave I never knew about that was in my own backyard? The answer is yes. What I should do is I should process the, um, uh, once I get home, I'll process the sulfur that I have into bandages and see if I'm comfortable with the amount of sulfur reed bandages or sulfur cattail bandages that I have. You think it's the same, but you're not certain? Okay. Wow, terrible resources. think living on like open flat plains full of grasses and fruit bushes there'd be more animals around especially given that I hunt all the predators there was only ever one bear that ever lived around here and I killed it and I don't think it's respawn is around here either because I would have seen it again so I think it wandered considerable distance just to get here because that was this is the little kill tower that I used to kill it when I didn't have steel gear. When bears were scary. Remember the time that bears were scary? I could always go to the wolves and bears area in the northwest, but that's not, uh, that's not red meat, that's bush meat. The other thing is, like, I'll need... I'm going to make some bread just to maintain my uh, food as well because um, my grain fell behind in terms of nutrients. Or yeah, when the, uh, the bears camped the traders, that was hilarious. Not. That was so annoying. Right up to the trader, huddle in their little cabin and the bear ganks me anyway was rough. Well, I do want to sleep through this night. Oh, 60 meat, that's not terrible. Um, so that I can uh, advance time as much as possible. I think just in case, I'm going to add one charcoal on either side. That should be all the charcoal required to finish the steel. Another storm pop out of nowhere? That would be strange, given that there's like a bit of a timer between them. It'd be unusual if I got hit uh, in that frequency. Not that I would mind. I mean, I it's free linen, right? It just makes me heal better. I'd be fine with it. Oh, you had a drifter throw a rock at you when you were with the trader and hit the trader so the trader aggroed you? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that is unfortunate. So it's April 7th. At least traders respawn. 90%. With 9 left. So every 8 charcoal is like 10%. 
168 charcoal minus what you put into the vat to, to do it, I think. Um, okay. I did want to make uh, some bread to fill up my grain. And then... Let's see. Pregnant Gen 0. Gen 1. Low weight. I, I, I'm not really into the breeding the animals anymore. That's why I'm not feeding them. I was just seeing if I could get milk off of them, which I can't. What exact here does the trader have? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't think they're like one, zero. It's more that they're tanky. Yeah, the only time you really need to feed the animals is when they're ready to mate. Um, but it does help that they're well fed enough so that they can get pregnant. Because if you don't do it ahead of time, like you can be in a situation where then there's like a long lag time. But yeah, you're right about that. Oh! My cranberry wine is done. So I always get this wrong. The condenser takes the cranberry wine. And I only got 10 liters. And then the boiler gets water. Is it 10 of water? And then um, light a fire under it. Well, let's do it. And then put the bucket, you know, under the condenser, which I haven't done, I know. So some of you are like, oh, you're doing it wrong. Don't worry, I know. It's been a while since I made alcohol in the game, but. Fire. Bucket. So we have a condenser full of the alcohol that we want to condense or distill and a boiler full of water. And we're, we're going. We are making cranberry um, liquor. What is cranberry? What does it turn into? Armory wine turns into I don't know what it turns into. Oh, the condenser gets water? I did this back. Oh, brandy, right. Did I do this backwards? Let me look at the guides real quick. Um, distilling. Place a bucket under the condenser spout. Fill the condenser with water. Oh, whoops, did it backwards. Uh. Luckily, it's easy to enough to fix. All right, there we go. Wine, condenser, there, done. Uh, red, it's gonna be burned as hell. 
I got a little sidetracked. So, current priority right now is make some more bandages. It's just hard tech. Fresh for 18 days, right? Keeps 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 better that way. And then after some bandages will make meat pies. So I'm making the honey sulfur poultices. So that is sulfur on the sides, honey in the middle, cattails in the bottom. 1632. How is there like fractional honey left? That's weird. Well, I'll eat it. It's like one C80. Oh yeah, this is good healing. I, that's, hmm. That is a lot of hit points. Oh, I emptied my bucket full of honey. Really? I burned through all the honey? Well, thank you bees. I'll put the, oop, no, that's not how to do it. I'll put the honey that I'm not using back. I'll put a liter of it back. This I'm eating, because why not? 0.05 liters, I don't need to keep it. And then I have this regular horsetail that it can turn into horsetail poultices. So I'm going to use the really good stuff, and then this stuff, and then down to that stuff. Uh, I think that's enough healing. I don't know. I haven't done... I've only done the res archives twice. So I don't... I'm less confident due to... Um, some in inexperience. Thank you for tuning in to Vintage Story, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 7th and March 8th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Seraphs.